So the penultimate race of the world week is Wiltshire Hunt, the Wiltshire Hunters Chase, just over two miles. Number one, Lord Gow for Martin Leadham. Two, Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes. Three, Esther Tide Revelation for James Shea. Four is Enrolder for Obi-Wan. Five is Jemima Cartwheel for Stu Gray. And six is Lakota Coast for, also for Obi-Wan. Got a couple in here. So just very small field of six. We're waiting for the starter to get him away here. Oh, look. Well, and they're away. Hmm. So over two miles, it should be lickety split before race 39. It will be led by Lord Gow of Martin Lindham over the first of 14. There are slow jumps, kind of slow jumps towards the rear from Jemima Cartwheel and Roller and Lakota Ghost. But it's Lord Gow that's uh, sprinted off into the front and got himself a three length advantage from Flames of Galileo and Esther Tide Revelation. And a length and a half back to Jemima Cartwheel. And then roller and Lakota Ghost. He's already getting, well, caught for tow. And he's probably 15 lengths away from the leader already. They all get over the water and we're well strung out. And all gals decided to bowl along. And they all go over the third. Poor jump there by Jemima Cartwell. I've lost sight of the roller and Lakota Ghost already. And we've still got a mile and a half to travel and a further 10 fences to take. They're both over the rear. So Lord Gal leads us just by a length and a half now from Flames of Galileo as they go over that ditch. And then they say, oh, we've lost both Obi Wan sources. Serious chill. We didn't see it, but Enroller and Lakota Ghost probably took each other out. So we're down to four. And we're all over the six. Just got over a mile. And we're starting to lose sight of Jemima Cartwell. This Lord Gal has gone off a fair old lick here. So it's Lord Gout from Flames of Galileo in second. As to Tide Revelation is third, and Jemima Cartwell brings up the rear in fourth. So money to be had for these four, as long as they stay on their feet. We get to the seventh. It's half the fence is dumped. And it's Lord Gout that leads us by a length and a half from Flames of Galileo. As to Tide Revelation and Jemima Cartwell. And as Lord Gout brings us up to the next. This is uh, a happy hunting ground for Martin Leadham. He does his best to knock his horses under 100. Runs them in there. And then slips them into the old hunter chases to pick up wins. But a win's a win. I'll be grabbed to even get one this year. But it's still Lord Gal that leads us. We're inside the six already. The Flames of Galileo and Esther Tide Revelation together. They'll all go over the ninth. Jemima Cartwheel's got a lot to do from where she is. She's running like a cartwheel. A one-legged cartwheel. But it's Lord Gal. Still got a three-length advantage. We're inside the five now. Gets over the big ditch. They're all over it well. So it's Lord Gal by a couple now to Flames of Galileo. Esther Tide Revelation coming up closer. Jemima Cartwheel off the bridle and really being pushed along inside the final half a mile. So it's Lord Gal that leads us by a couple to Flames of Galileo, Esther Tide Revelation, Jemima Cartwell trying to get back into it, but have got a lot to do from there as they get to the 11th, a poor jump by the leader, and, Esther and Jemima Cartwell went through the top, and it's Esther Tide Revelation that takes it up from Lord Gal on the inside, these two are starting to pull away from Flames of Galileo and Jemima Cartwell, they get to the 12th, there's two to jump, and it's Esther Tide Revelation that takes it up from Lord Gal now on the inside, Flames of Galileo is not going to win from there, Jemima Cartwell with loss, and it's Esther Tide Revelation by just half our length now as we come down to the final third. And then the final two to jump. They're both over it together, but S Lord Gal got away from it better. So it's Lord Gal now as they get to the last. Takes it well from Esther Tide Revelations. Only half a furlong to run. There's Lord Gal from Esther Tide Revelation. Lord Gal is just going to hang on. Who's he? This comes Esther Tide Revelation. Oh, Lord Gal just hangs on to it there from Esther Tide Revelation in second. Wings of Galileo is third. Jemima Park is fourth. As I said, Martin pops up in a hunter's chase. And wins one off the bridle a little bit there from Esther Tide Revelation. And then a good distance back to Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes. Jemima Cartwell for Stu Gray was fourth. So it's a winner piece for James Shea, Martin Leadham and Thomas Rogers in the opening three Hunter Chases of the Week.